Robin Ford, well known for his amazing lead guitar playing, those jazzy infused lines, that dumbled tone, his incredible phrasing. He's been doing this for, for decades. He is a living legend. And that is all true. But some things that I, or I don't often hear, or I don't hear it enough in my opinion, is Robin Ford is an outstanding rhythm guitar player. So today we're gonna to have a look at um, He Don't Play Nothing But The Blues from the second album he did with the Blue Line called Mystic Mile, released in 1993. That was a killer band. Uh, Robin Ford, uh, Roscoe Beck on bass, and Tommy Bretchlin on drums. That was, um, those three albums they did were, were really great. Um, okay, so we are in the key of A, A minor, but we're tuned down half step. Um, and the, the riff, the main riff, I suppose, is all based around A minor pentatonic. So let's have a look at the first section, the intro of the riff to He Don't Play Nothing But The Blues. Okay, so the first riff, as I said, it is played uh, around the notes of a minor pentatonic. <clears throat> I'm playing the inner string, so not the low E, not the high E. Uh, I use pick, pick and fingers, these three fingers. Um, and if you think of the, the chords that you're outlining through the riff are really A, uh, and then to a D, D5, and then to a G. So they're the chords that you, you're gonna be thinking about for this riff. Now, it's important that the bottom, um, that A string is really open throughout. You're not uh, fretting any notes on there, but you are uh, plucking it. And there's a melody on top, and that's really what you're doing with um, your, your fingers here. So the melody, if you get that in your head, Okay, and that's just A minor pentatonic setting up in the E ninth fret, okay, and going up the really uh, box two, box one of the minor pentatonic. So if you think box one, box two, that's, that's where uh, the, the riff is made. So uh, nine, ten, uh, nine, uh, eight, ten. Hammer on that G to an A. Hammer on that D to an E. Okay, that's the melody on top. All right, let's put it together then with the, I suppose the chords in the middle. You're, really, you're gonna be playing a five chord, A5. So seventh fret, ninth fret on the uh, D and G strings. Okay, so you got the first three. Uh, first part there. Okay, so what I end up doing is using, uh, I'm hitting the strings all the time, but I'm muting that B. So on that first chord, nothing's ringing out there, but it just means I don't need to think too much about the right hand, it's more the left hand muting that's coming into it. Okay, let's try that again. 
Hammer on. Hammer on. Okay, you're five five, and bringing on the seven and back. Then hit the open A string, hit the A5. Let's do that again. Okay, so this is the A part, the A chord part. The next part, remember I said it was A, G, sorry, A, D, and G you're thinking? Well, now you're going to the D. So you're around a D chord shape, open D string, A and D, but they come in from um, the open G and the C beneath it, okay? So I hit those with my second and third finger. So open D, open G, C. A little bit of a, a bend on that chord um, when you hit the second time. Okay, that's a D. Third chord in it is a G. Now I hit the G with my thumb and just hit open D and G. Okay, but bring the melody in on top. Okay, so it's open G, A, C. Pull off that C to the A, fifth fret to second fret, and then hit your D, third fret on the B string. Whoops. Okay, now you're back up to the beginning with a little lead in. Okay, and that's that's the intro. He plays it slightly different, I think it's four times or something in, in the intro. So what I might do is I'll play it uh, slowly and um, I'll try and talk about the, the differences between them. So the first time he plays it, I just remembered, I, used, I don't play that with my thumb, I play it with my second finger. You can do it with your thumb if you want though. Um, Last part, just single note melody. Okay, hammering on this, he brings in that one note outside of the minor pentatonic, I suppose, the six, <clears throat> which he does a lot. So barring the seventh fret, G and B strings and hammering on really quickly, um, eight and nine, which is the G and E. Okay, and then a really common um, minor pentatonic bluesy stuff. So that last time. Okay, uh, same with the D. And then as a pull off on the A. Okay, really common there, seven, seven to five, five, but hammer on the six. I'm just playing op uh, the A5 there. Very last chord. I'm just playing five, the G, open G, and then D. And then go down to the fourth fret, the F sharp. Okay, so. Let's have a look at the verse. Okay, the verse uh, A5 again, it's in the key of A, uh, A minor. Of course, we're tuned down half step. But um, again, it's just really, really great rhythm pattern. Mm
That's that verse part. So he's just playing an A5, nice and simple, but it's the syncopation, the, the way he, he holds it a little bit and mutes it. Um, okay, again, picking fingers, picking these with fingers. You can do it just with fingers if you want, but I, I, I wouldn't pick it as in. You can, but it doesn't sound the same, and I don't, I'm, he's not playing it that way. So picking fingers, great practice if you're not used to that hybrid picking. Um, there's something, I, it's kind of tricky to hear, I don't really think he hears it, but the bass does it, I think it sounds great. Um, I do the C up to C sharp to a, to a D5, so. <laughs> Back down to the A5. Okay. Um, there's one part where he he'll bend up fourth fret, so the F sharp and the B. Just a really quick one. Oh, sounds great. Okay, G5. Hit the bass note, then the chord. D and F sharp, bass note, then the chord. Okay, back to the A. So as we saw in the intro, again, super common in uh, blues on guitar. Seventh fret, uh, D and G. Fifth fret, D and G, but hammer on the sixth, that major third. Not E minor there, so you really need to mute that G string, but you want them altering out because it's those high E that you hear on top, high uh, B and E strings. The drums, tick tick, G5 twice. And then uh, you're, you're back in really to that sort of main riff. That's it, that's the rhythm guitar intro. Uh, and which is the same as chorus and verse for he don't play nothing but the blues killer rhythm guitar from Robin Ford Good luck. See you next time